We are, I guess I would say, a grassroots artist, and um, sure, we do all the social media stuff, but the best way to get your art and music out there is to be in tactile touch and, and listening range of people, and uh, that's why we play as much as we do. And our goal is a little different. We're not about becoming famous. We're about bringing joy and to ourselves and to people, you know. And so, for us, our music fits with the art experience because. It's just about art, it's an interpretation of art, and we enjoy being surrounded by art <laughs> as artists. So for us, um, yeah, you can use all the Facebook and all the Twitter things, um, which is great. People can connect. Mouth, we travel all over the world, so people from Quebec can be tuning in on what we're doing in Naples, you know, but uh, which is fun, and people can feel attached to that and, and, uh, and communicate with that way. But truly, it's about the live experience and, right. and creating it at the moment, which, which is... Does that feedback from an audience really, does that make a big difference for you guys? It kind of depends on the environment. If you're in a concert setting versus like a festival, art fair kind of thing, where your job is to create the best ambiance that you can for everyone involved, then uh, you're reaching in a different direction, you know, especially an experience like a seven hour day versus like a one hour concert like we played a concert last night and uh and that is a lot you know that's really fun when you connect with the audience in that way then you're all on the same exper experience you know and that that is truly art yeah.